So what we have to find out, we have to find out current through each equation. It's again a NCRT question. Two ohm. This is four ohm resistance. This is five volt. This one is four ohm. This one is four ohm. This point is A, this point is B, this point is C, this point is D, this point is E. Now, they distribute the current also the, from the first one, they represent it I1. Very good. Now this I1, they can divide in two parts. This one is I2 and this one is I1 minus I2. So you can say at this point, it is uh, balanced or uh, junction load law is maintained. Now, this, this is I1, this is I2 and this one is I3. So this one is I2, this one is I3. So how much current flow through this one? This one is I2 plus I3. So now this one is I2 plus I3. And this one is I1, which is moving out. So what you can write here, you are expecting here I2 plus I3 minus I1. Now this one is I2 plus I3 minus I1. And this one is I1 minus I2. So if you add this, you get I3. See, again, the whole thing is, whole thing is uh, so satisfied means junction law is satisfied. So overall, how many variables you have? I1, I2, I3. You have three variables. So you need three loops. So you can choose any three loops. So it's better. We can uh, write like this, A, B, C, A. So we we'll choose this one loop. We can choose one more loop like this. Uh, a, C, D, A. So we choose this one and it's better choose this one. So another loop is, suppose we write B, E, D, C, B. B, E, D, C, B. So we have three variable. We have to choose three loop. If we follow this loop formula, then we can easily find out the three equation we solve it we get the answer so let's start first we have a b c a hmm. again i solve one numerical today so at least two or three numerical from the same type by using kirchhoff's law you can try because it's very very important so now we are choosing a b c a so four i1 sorry i2 we are moving on the direction 2i2 plus i3. Now we are moving again on the direction. So the value of current is i1. So plus i1 into 1. And then we have minus 10 polarity equals to 0. Arrange it, you get the equation number 1. Similarly, a, c, d, a. So as we move from a, we first uh, get the positive polarity of the cell. Now we, now we are moving in the opposite direction. So 1 into I1. Now again we are moving on the direction. So plus 2 into I2 plus I3 minus I1. And then we are moving again opposite direction. See current is in this direction. And we are moving opposite direction. So minus 4 I1 minus I2. Equation number 2. Now... In B, E, D, C, B, B, E, D, C, B, we are moving in the opposite direction and we get the plus. Then we are moving opposite direction again. So minus 2, I2 plus I3 minus I1. And then we again move in the opposite direction. Minus 2, I2 plus I3 equals to 0. So you have three variables. You can arrange them and then you can find out I1, I2, I3. Hope you understand this one.
very important although this one is removed from your syllabus but they also mention if you if if you think it's required you can teach them and uh, but don't give the question in the exam so maybe maybe this uh, this year uh, in your exam they don't give it but it's not necessary that you don't get any question from this part in entrance exam okay so we we can <clears throat> learn all these things and before your board exam if this all situation is going on and they they put just that much is in your syllabus so then we don't prepare for exam but if it happen in that way your exam is 6 month uh, <clears throat> or due to that pandemic and all next sal march mein nahi okay they they the shift on into before durga puja so in that situation what happened they they again give the full syllabus because you get some time so in this type of situation let's as we have time let's study the whole thing and then if it is not in your syllabus you understand ki you are confirmed that corona is not there so now <clears throat> the most important is wiston bridge suppose a is one point b is one point c is one point and d is another point so between a and c you have one resistance resistance r1 between b and c you have one resistance resistance r2 between a and d you have one resistance resistance r3 between b and d you have one resistance resistance r4 between c and d you have one resistance resistance r5 now if we see it properly if we connected it with a battery so what happened this is supposed battery plus polarity minus polarity now the rule is that the amount of current supply by the battery is equals to the amount of current received by the battery so let i1 is the current and i2 is the current they are supplied by the battery so that means you can say this is equals to i1 plus i2 now let this is this one is a galvanometer so current flow through this is ig let this one is a galvanometer the current flow through this is ig you can write r5 or you can write it rg same thing so if ig current is passing through this you can say the rest amount i1 minus ig is passing through this one this is ig this is i2 so these are combined and this is i2 plus ig now see this is minus ig this is plus ig cancel i1 plus i2 so i1 plus i2 the amount of current to supply by the battery and the same amount of current received by the battery so this one is a balanced western bridge and as it is a balanced western bridge in this balanced western bridge first you have to write in the loop a c d a so a c d a in this loop what we can see we are moving on the direction so we can write i1 r1 now we are moving again on the direction so plus i g r g now we are moving opposite direction see current is moving in this direction we are moving opposite direction so minus i2 into r3 so we start from a we end at a so we can write that is equals to zero let it be equation number one let it be equation number one um, so now in the next loop let c b c b d c c b d c so now we have the loop is c b d c one complete loop again so in this loop see we are moving on the direction so i1 minus i g into r2 we are moving on the direction now b to d c you are moving opposite direction so minus i2 plus ig into r4 now again 
current is this and you are moving opposite direction so minus ig into rg equals to 0 let it be equation number 2 now from this two equation you can say at balance condition balance condition what is balance condition balance condition is that voltage of c and voltage of d are equal so if the voltage of c and voltage of d are equal so what about the voltage of cd voltage of cd is zero so if the voltage of cd is zero so no current flow through this one so that means you can say ig is zero try to understand what i am what i want to say he at balance condition means first it is a western bridge now it is the balance or not so at balance condition voltage of c and voltage of d are equal so if the voltage of c and voltage of d are equal so potential difference is zero so when the potential difference is zero that means current flow through this is zero so ig equals to zero now we can put this ig equals to zero in equation one and two so by putting ig equals to 0 in 1 and 2 equation so if i put in first equation ig equals to 0 what happens see see you can write it here i1 r1 plus this one is 0 minus i2 r3 equals to 0 so that means which means i1 r1 is equals to i2 r3 which means i1 by i2 equals to r3 by r1 let it be equation number 3 let it be equation number 3 similarly if we put this ig equals to 0 in equation 2 so what happened i1 r2 if we put it here minus i2 r4 rest this one zero this one zero this one zero equals to zero so i1 r2 is i2 r4 so i1 by i2 that is r4 by r2 equation four. from this equation two and equation four from this equation two and equation four what we can say we can say that key from equation this and this what we can say ki i1 by i2 that is r3 by r1 equals to r4 by r2 so r1 by r2 equals to r3 by r4 so balanced so now we use it in reverse way same like capacitor if r1 by r2 equals to r3 by r4 we can remove r5 from the circuit or rg from the circuit so we use the rule potential of c equals to potential of b and on that basis no current flow through this and we get this condition now we reverse it if this one by this one equals to this one by this one that means this one is balanced no current flow through this one that is called the balance with stone bridge which is very very important now on the basis of that we can solve some numerical because in examination every alternate one your examiner given you question from balance wisdom bridge so let's try a numerical from where balance wisdom bridge a very simple numerical suppose this one is r1 10 ohm Uh, this one is 10 ohm this is 20 ohm suppose this is 5 ohm this is 10 ohm and this one is 10 ohm this point is a this point is b this point is c this point is d question is that find the equivalent relation between a and b so it's very simple a point is this b point is this this is the the upper one is d point 
and the lower one is C point. So between A and D, you have one resistance, 10 ohm. Between B and D, you have one resistance, 20 ohm. Between A and C, you have five ohm resistance. Between B and D, you have 10 ohm. And between C and D, you have one resistance of 10 ohm. So now clearly this by this, this by this. So try it. আমার একটা টুয়েলভ এর এক্সাম আইডিয়া ছিল না হ্যাঁ গো সো ফ্রম দ্যাট হোয়াট উই ক্যান সে ফ্রম দ্যাট উই ক্যান সে টেন বাই টোয়েন্টি equals to 5 by 10 that is 1 by 2 so yes we stun bridge so we can remove this one so these two are in series and these two are in series this is the a point this is the b point this part is 30 ohm this part is 15 ohm now 1 by resistance of a b that is 1 by 30 plus 1 by 15 that is 30 1 plus 2 R of AB is 30 by 3, that is 10 ohm. Now, I would like to give you one more question from the same chapter. <laughs> Next question is that, let this one is 4 ohm, this one is R1, this one is 6 ohm, and this one is 9 ohm. This one is G that is 60 ohm, 60 ohm, which is connected with a battery of 3 volt. This is the question number 1. And the second part is that Question is that <clears throat> figure shows two circuit each having a galvanometer and a battery of three volt. When the galvanometer in each arrangement do not show any deflection, what is the ratio of R1 by R2? So very simple, you have to find out the ratio of R1 by R2. So obviously what happened, this one is your potential difference and this is the galvanometer. So what you can use this by this, this by this, so we can write 4 by R1, this by this equals to 6 by 9. So R1 is equals to 4 into 9 by 6. Similarly, see, this is the thing. So this one is a galvanometer. So this by this, this by this, because this is the battery. You are thinking from the battery point of view. So think in that way. So this one is equal to, and this is the galvanometer. So the R1 by R2, R3 by R4. So 6 by R2, that is 1 by 8. Is it 1? Sorry, 6 by 12. I'm sorry. 6 by 12. 6 by R2, 
12 by 8 12 by 8 so you can find out r2 also 6 into 8 by 12 so this one is 3 this one is 2 so this one is 2 that is 6 and this one is 6 2 ja 4 so r1 by r2 is 6 by 4 answer is 3 by 2 so you understand why these are very very important the answer is 3 is to 2 see the answer 3 is to 2 3 is to 2 so now <clears throat> after that uh, we can move on to our next level we can move on to next level that is cell electric cell so in electric cell some in electric cell you have some parameter like if you have a cell if you have a cell let this one is emf this is the internal resistance these are the two point this is the emf of the cell so so when a cell is open circuit when a cell is open circuit when a cell is open circuit its terminal voltage its terminal voltage is called emf that means v of ab is equals to e when when the cell is open circuit what do you mean by open circuit open circuit means if you put a galvanometer the deflection on the galvanometer is zero means no current if you put a voltmeter then current flow then it is not an open circuit if you put a galvanometer and if the galvanometer shows zero deflection, if you put here a galvanometer, it not show you a zero deflection. Try to understand what I want to say. If you put a galvanometer here, if you put a galvanometer here, so then it's not show you zero deflection. It shows zero deflection means no battery, no EMF is there. Okay. So that means a device by using which you can find out the EMF, that device is called by using which you can find out the emf is called potentiometer so hope you understand when you measure emf if the cell is open circuit then and only then you can measure the emf now <clears throat> now if you now if you connected this cell if you connected this cell with some external resistance let r so now what happened as well as you connect external resistance like galvanometer like voltmeter if you connect because voltmeter itself it have a very high value of resistance galvanometer itself it have a resistance so if you connected a resistance or you just connect a normal resistance so what happened current will start flowing through the circuit so when the current start flowing now this one the terminal voltage is voltage of ab and that is not the emf see what happened current is i into external resistance now plus current of into internal resistance minus emf equals to zero if we use the kirchhoff law current into this in this you have a resistance the current into that and you have a negative polarity now current into external resistance because this two point this is the parallel point this one and this one are same so current into external resistance is equals to the terminal voltage of ab that is the emf minus current into internal resistance is the terminal voltage av is the terminal voltage av so now the terminal voltage is e minus ir last one last time it will be emf now it will be e minus ir so why it will be e minus ir because current is moving out from the cell that means current will flowing and when the current will flowing from the cell 
This is called discharging. Discharging. Discharging the cell. That means after some time, your cell is discharged. But the tumne battery karit ke laya, 1.5 volt ka do battery, dunoko series me lagaya, to tumara hogya teen volt, abuse tumne ek bulb ko series me lagaya. So, kya hogya battery se current gaya bulb me, battery se current gaya bulb me, so bulb kya hoga dhire dhire, jalega, to battery dhire dhire discharge hoga, or hote hote ek samay battery pura discharge ho jayega, so ye kya ho jayega. So, then you have to put a new battery. This is called the discharging of the cell. So, is it possible the EMF of a cell means a terminal voltage is greater than the EMF of a cell? Is it possible? The answer is yes. It is possible if you connect. If you connect, suppose this is one polarity, this is one polarity plus minus, and if you connect it, with a cell such a way that current is entering into the cell. You say how it is possible, sir. You are trying to charge your charger. So when you are trying to charge your charger by suppose using an external uh, that uh, battery bank, backup bank, that is called a power bank. So what happened, he, you connecting your Nokia phone or Samsung phone. This is your phone with a battery backup power bank. So that means what happened when you connect. So this one is the power bank whose voltage from here the current is entering into this one. So that means it, as the current is entering, that means now the mobile is charging. That means the EMF is charging. So as the EMF is charging, so now if you want to write the equation, what happens? See, uh, EMF plus polarity plus I into internal resistance minus V. So V equals to EMF plus IR. So if you find this type of situation, EMF plus IR is the terminal voltage. That means that means the case is charging. So in charging, in charging, the EMF of the uh, terminal voltage is greater than the EMF of the cell EMF plus current into resistance. Otherwise, EMF terminal voltage is current minus EMF. And if it is equal, that means it's a open circuit. Now, <clears throat> I can give you. Uh, some question related to that. Uh, first, I want to give you one numerical first. So my numerical is that, suppose you have two cell, this one and this one. This one is uh, 10 volt, two ohm. This one is five volt, one ohm. Both are connected with a external resistance of three ohm. So if I is the current, if I is the current, my question is that find the terminal voltage of 10 ohm volt resistance, uh, 10 ohm volt, and find the terminal voltage of five volt battery. Terminal voltage of 10 volt battery and find the terminal voltage of five volt battery. I give you. What is the answer? Anyone? see what happened so you have two terminal one is the high voltage and another one is the low voltage always try to show the current from the high voltage i already show it also okay the try to show the current from the higher voltage so current will flow so now you can use the kirchhoff's law also so if you use the kirchhoff's law i into three then you have plus i into one then you have plus polarity five volt then you have again plus i into 2 and then minus 10 and equals to 0. So you complete the loop. So current 3 plus 1 plus 2 equals to 10 minus 5. So current equals to 5 by 5. That is 1 ampere. This is one process. The another process is that it's a very simple process. Current is total EMF. So the, see this one in opposite direction. See because 
plus minus plus minus plus minus this is called the right connection but plus minus then minus plus then plus minus plus minus then this is called the wrong connection and as it is the wrong connection so it will minus from the hole so see here one is this one one is this one this is higher so we we take this one is positive it it this one is a reverse of this so if this one is positive this one is negative so what we can write directly tan minus 5 and the resistance is no polarity so the resistance is bidirectional so 3 plus 2 plus 1 so 3 plus 2 plus 1 okay so it will be 6 now nah? i am sorry no, six, one, i'm five. trying to are bhul kore diye diye no no otherwise hmm. Problem ki chui na, if, if you put it 3, then what happened ki your uh, calculation is a little bit easier. So 5 by 5, that is 1 ampere. So now you get the 1 ampere. So what is the terminal voltage of 10 volt? See, from this one, current is moving out. So it is the discharging case. 10 minus current is 1 ampere into internal resistance is 2, that is 8 volt. And for this one, Current is entering. See clearly, current is entering. As the current is entering, so what happened? Its terminal voltage increase. So as it is entering, so five plus one into one. So what you what you have? Six volt. So this is very important. So in this one you have five plus one volt, and in this one you have five minus one volt. So this is very very important. Now. On the basis of that, I want to show you one more thing, which is very, very important. If we want to draw the resistance, external resistance versus uh, EMF, if it is straight line, that means it's an open circuit. Why? Because then EMF is equals to this. It does not depend on the current. So EMF is constant. Uh, so either EMF is decreasing or EMF is increasing when the current flows through the cell. Either the EMF is increasing or decreasing. If the EMF is increasing, that means it is the charging. If the EMF is decreasing, then it is the discharging. Now, V equals to IR in terms of, you know, R means uh, Current into external resistance means you have a cell, internal resistance R, and if you connect it with external resistance, current will flow. So current into external resistance. So what do you mean by current? Current is the EMF by total resistance. So your total resistance is how much? Your uh, total current is how much? Sorry, EMF by current resistance of the external resistance plus internal resistance into external resistance so if you want to draw graph on that basis so what you can write emf if you move it in this one r by r so now if you want to draw the graph how it will be look if you want to draw voltage versus resistance graph in that case if it is not open circuit if open circuit it will be constant but if it is not open circuit it will be look like this and it will be this means when the resistance is infinity, when the resistance is infinity, see if this one is infinity, something by infinity is zero, so it will be EMF. Otherwise, it will be decreasing. And when R is equals to internal resistance and external resistance are equal, when small r is equals to capital R. So one small r by capital R is one to so one plus one, two. So your voltage is EMF by two, external voltage. This V is the terminal voltage. And one more thing which is very, very important. This graph is between EMF and current from this one, means for the uh, charging case, because charging case is most important, is the charging case. And the second one is, second one graph is the voltage versus current. This is a straight line graph. Why this is a straight line graph? And this graph is very, very important. See. If we write terminal voltage, EMF minus current into internal resistance. So when the current is zero, 
that means it is no current flow through the circuit that means it's an open circuit ha digan to ball so when the current is zero that means it's an open circuit because we know in open circuit no current flow so as in open circuit no current flow so if no current flow then the voltage is the emf which is the maximum voltage so this one is maximum now suppose the current is increasing so if the value of the current increasing obviously obviously your external voltage decreasing so it will be decreasing and when it is zero so what you can say it's very simple if the terminal voltage is zero that is emf minus current into internal resistance so current is emf by internal resistance so in that case current is maximum maximum means not infinity maximum means your external resistance is zero and still you have internal resistance of the cell and you are connecting it with a conducting wire so it's not infinity it's the maximum okay and in that case the uh, the terminal voltage become zero of the cell clear so this type of a uh, graphical approach is also sometime important after that you have arrangement of cell uh, but today i don't want to start that arrangement of cell i want to discuss one or two numerical today hmm. because if you don't if you not practice and today i give you the whole current sheet numerical because it's a very very important in terms of entrance exam also so many numericals have you can practice them so then you can learn something it's not only about plus 12 it's all about uh, for your future also if you are in engineering college or in medical college so physics is directly or indirectly you need this physics maybe not directly in raw raw form but in directly form you need them okay and in some uh, field you need them directly so this uh, current that uh, series parallel resistance and all this is very very important so uh, i would like to discuss a numerical which is uh, just wait uh, the question is that very very good question the question is that what is the question Yes, the question. Yes, see how good this questions are. The question is, I'm trying to write it. Then you understand. Ah, uh, in the circuit shown below, each battery is five volt and has internal resistance two ohm. So they give in that way. Ah, uh, I am giving one circuit wrong connection here. So you correct it when you get it. It's actually this one, and in the figure, it's given reverse. this one this one this one and then you have this one total eight emf is there each each volt is how much 5 volt and each resistance is how much 0.2 ohm the reading of the voltmeter so now you put here a voltmeter now you put here a voltmeter so the question is that here we suppose this voltmeter is ideal voltmeter otherwise due to that resistance it will enter here so i'm not want to discuss this what do you mean by voltmeter what do you mean by ammeter this is all are in your syllabus but after this chapter in magnetism even we can discuss it in this chapter after completing that uh, wiston bridge and potentiometer but not before that so now total how many cell is there 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and it's a one circle so you can simply use the kirchhoff's law or you can say total current is a no external resistance is there so total emf 8 into 5 by uh, 8 or you can say n n is the number into internal resistance very simple so n is how much n is how much n is 8 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and emf is 5 volt and each internal resistance how many internal resistance each 0.2 so if you cancel this what you have 5 by 0.2 and 5 by 0.2 i think it's 25 ampere so now that means the current in the circuit is 25 ampere the current in the circuit is 25 ampere and you have to find out the terminal voltage 
see each cell as their right connection each cell the current is moving out that means they all are that means they all are discharging so if you want to find out the terminal voltage that means voltage reading of the voltmeter that is the emf of each cell minus current into internal resistance i just show you okay uh, in case of discharging of each cell voltage is emf minus current into internal resistance so emf is how much 5 volt current is how much 25 internal resistance is how much 0.2 so what you have 5 minus 5 that is 0 so this is the beauty of the question after all this you have current you have resistance and all your the final answer is zero and that's why these are the very very good question and this question is asked in iit if you have that 31 years iit previous years question then you can check it it's a very popular question there so hope you understand this um again repeat